Hey everyone. So it became kind of apparent during our camping trip that there are a lot of people who actually don't know how to put a GPX file on their phone, let alone open it and pull it up in an app and use the course map um, to help them navigate and make sure that they have not gotten off track. So I wanted to make sure we got a video out there on how to do that. This particular demo, we're going to be using Gaia Maps. Um, I recommend that you go ahead and download that app as your first step. You can do this with other applications. Um, there are, of course, many applications out there where you can open a GPX file and uh, download a race course into your phone. But we've had a lot of success with Gaia, and we've actually run a couple of races that specifically requested that the GPX file be used in Gaia Maps um, because it's been pretty trustworthy and reliable. So we're going to go ahead and recommend that app, but you can do it with other apps. You'll just have to um, change how you open the file from within that app. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go to our app store, and we are going to find Gaia GPS. I'm an on, on an iPhone here, so your interface might be slightly different, but they do have it for iPhone, Android, all that good stuff. Um, I already have it, so I'm going to click open, but you go ahead and make sure you download it. And then I'm just going to put that aside for right now. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the Rim to River uh, page here, rim to river endurance.com. Now, of course, every race is different. You're going to have to poke around the website for whatever race it is you're doing, but most races these days do have a GPX file for their course. Uh, for rim to river here, we're going to go to the very top right here, our little hamburger menu up top. We're going to click on that, and they have theirs under maps. So I'm going to click maps here. And uh, we're going to scroll down, and right here we've got Rim to River, 100 maps, and elevation profile, uh, GPX file download. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to say, do you want to download the 2021 Rim to River 100 GPX? Um, this is very important. We're still about five months out until Rim to River. I don't know if they're making any changes to the course this year, but please make sure if you're downloading this course right now, please make sure to go ahead and check back before your race to make sure that they haven't put an updated 2022 file on there. I would hate for you to have the wrong course on your map if you are indeed running Rim to River, or for that matter, uh, any race you're doing when you get that GPX file, if you're doing it this far out from the race, it's a good idea to check back and see if they, if they update it at all. Um, so you would go ahead and hit download. I've already downloaded this like five times while uh, making this the video and uh, doing some outtakes here. So I'm not going to hit download, but you would hit download. And then we would go ahead and close out of that. And we are going to go back to... Hopefully I don't have any embarrassing apps on my phone. Um, we're going to go back to Gaia GPS here. So there it is. I'm going to open it up. Okay. And then what you would do is you go to the top. If you look at that top area, there's a circle with a plus inside of it. Right, let's see if it lights up right there. We're going to click that circle with a plus inside of it, and it gives us a menu here. And I'm going to hit Import File. And when I hit Import File, you could see the four different rimmed rivers that I've downloaded. So I have to delete some of those off my phone. But I will just go ahead and select the most recent one. And it says All Imports Complete. And when I do that, if I scroll down... Uh, so first off, let me back up here. Right now I'm not down in West Virginia. Right now I am at home in the Cleveland area. So I am represented by this orange little uh, triangle right here, okay? But because we just put the course on the phone, if I scroll over to West Virginia, there it is, the, the Rim to River course right here. Let's see if we could find the start line, which I believe is at, uh, at Ace Adventure. There it is, Ace Adventure Resort. Um, so if we click on that, that'll show you it says start finish down there. And then they have the... Um, the aid stations marked down here. So these little red flags represent aid stations. I could push on those. Uh, right there we got that the Concho Rim aid station. 
over here to the right, we've got a speech aid station. Um, so you're able to look at that, kind of see the distance between aid stations on here, and use this map. This map can become very useful uh, if, if you have any doubts during a course. Now you will see here, it's not perfect. So this orange line, this, this route was probably made by somebody running the course, and they were probably actually on the trail and perfectly on course right here, but it looks like they were a little off. Um, that's just what happens if you zoom in really close. Don't worry about that. But if you zoom out, then you get the better idea. However, over here, for example, you can see clearly there's a trail that broke off to the left, and you can tell, okay, I wouldn't go that way. So if somebody took the flags or that, that split right there wasn't marked very well, and you needed to put a, uh, pull out your phone and check this out, your little orange arrow is going to be right there showing you where you're at on this course, and you'll be able to very clearly see, okay, you don't want to go left, you want to go right. Um, one thing that's extremely important, however, you don't want to kill your battery down. You want your, your phone in airplane mode. And it will work on airplane mode, but you have to do something first. You have to first, before the race starts, you need to open up Gaia Maps, make sure the course is loaded, make sure you're located, make sure your little orange arrow is on the screen, and then you put it in airplane mode without ever closing the app. If you do that, then it's still going to be locating you even in airplane mode. It's not going to kill down your battery. All right, so I hope that that was helpful to, uh, to some people. And if that's still confusing at all, feel free to ask questions for sure because um, as you get to more graduate level races, this becomes more and more important. Um, Cocodona, for example, I just do not think Lee and I would have uh, success at that race if we didn't both have the courses on our phone. Um, the course was poorly marked, and then in addition to that, you get tourists sometimes taking flags. So they they were taking flags from an already poorly marked course in that case, but uh, in some cases you have a well marked course and people come along and just intentionally. Uh, vandalize it and take the flags so it's really good to make sure you know how to do this so ask questions if you are uh, having any issues with that and there will be a separate video on how to load the route onto a Coros watch I'm a Coros kid I can't help you with the other stuff I am Coros through and through and through and through I have a confession I'm totally not wearing pants right now